Hello, my friend. Welcome, well, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos and grocery haul. This is my grocery purchase from the website. We. I heard about this actually from YouTube ads, like we ordering like Asian snacks, Asian food, Mexican food, a lot of different culture food. And I also heard about this from my friend who was originally from Japan and moved here to San Antonio. She really liked it. So we tried it, I think multiple times. And recently I've been having like cravings over some of the food that I couldn't get from the American grocery store. So in today's video, we're gonna do a haul and I'll give you my honest review of we the grocery delivery purchase. This one, it says frozen food. This is Korean corn. I absolutely love this because these are like very, very starchy and it has like, you know, it's a little bit more filling. It's less sweet, but more starchy and it also has different colors. Then I got the same thing, but from a Chinese brand. It pretty much tastes the same, but I think this one is like, it pretty much tastes the same, but sometimes I do like to switch things up with brands. So we got some corn and it was pretty nicely packed, even though like I think corn is okay with like food safety. But there were times that I ordered dumplings from this website and it's pretty nicely packed. And then they also have you deliver a specific time, like either morning or afternoon during like a specific day. And then they will send you an email notification and to tell you, hey, your order is on your on its way. So if you have anything frozen, like make sure that you are home and make sure you take it in immediately. I think I also bought some veg. I like the fact that I can order like not only snacks and stuff, but also like fresh vegetables. And it has like all different kinds of stuff. That I've been craving for. This is not healthy at all um, because it does have MSG, but this is the sweet and sour noodles. And this is what I've been having cravings for. All right, here's the noodles that can satisfy my pregnancy's cravings. This is not healthy. <laughs> It's instant food, but and basically it comes to the This is the vinegar pack and this is the hot oil pack. If you don't like spicy, you don't have to put an entire thing of hot oil, but at least put a vinegar pack. Vinegar is what makes it sour. And then this is like the seasoning pack. And the seasoning pack has MSG in there, so I'm not gonna put a lot, I'm just gonna put a little bit of it. So get my vinegars in there. And Definitely MSG, just don't put too much. Put a little bit, or you can just put salt on your own. 600 milliliters. And then put a cover, I'll just put a plate on top for four to six minutes. So we're just gonna insert a plate. Got some Wingstop leftover from yesterday, but I don't like the Parmesan ones just because I thought the cheese just is too happy for me with this like food aversion thing, but like regular flavor or spicy flavor is definitely way better. All right, I think it's time. I already put in some of the mushrooms leftovers from yesterday, and then the noodles seems pretty good. Okay, let's try this. I'm super, super excited. All right, guys, let's take a look. Let's take a bite. Tastes good. We're gonna put a little bit of more salt in there. I'm gonna put in a little bit of the last bit of hot oil oil in there. I think it should be ready to go. I'm gonna finish some research work. And this is so good. This is so good. It looks so spicy, but I love it. And I make it more nutrient with vegetables and more meat. Ta-da! And you can also get the face mask and the Korean beauty products from this website. So it not only has like those cookies, those snacks items, but also fresh products, grocery. And you can get like those Korean beauty products. And I got these on sale, I believe. They were like maybe two or three dollars off for these face masks. They're so good. And it's getting colder and colder. It's getting drier and drier. And those face masks are really good for hydrating your skin. And I got these. You can get them from Amazon as well. I just bought them just because like if you bought certain amount, you can get the free shipping and I just pay for the tips, you know? But I mainly wanted to buy these that I couldn't find in normal grocery store. They pack them separately so that you can store them also separately, which I love because these ones you will have to open right away versus, you know, the other ones you can just put them in the pantry, your closet. Here we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, I got those love this like these are fresh like dates basically and if you're pregnant you should get like 
eat three dates a day or something like that, like for iron and stuff. But these are so sweet and crunchy. I love them. Like I love fresh dates rather than you know the dehydrated dates because fresh dates are not as sweet, but it's also crunchy and you know it's like fresh fruit. I love this. These are honey jujubes. I've been having cravings for those, and they're in season for packed of honey jujubes. I also got another two pounds of not nicely packed. So you can tell how much I love those. I got two of those because it's impossible to find them from the local grocery store. We got some oyster mushrooms. Those mushrooms are super, 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 super yum, and they have so much nutrients in there. And you just slice them this way and it just becomes like slices and it kind of tastes like meat. It has this very nice texture. It's kind of like mushrooms in Chinese culture are considered like the vegan meat just because, you know, they're like, they have a lot of nutrients and it kind of has this meat texture and a little bit of meat flavor. And if you marinate them, they actually like absorb a lot of flavor. Oyster mushrooms. These are really good for soup. Stir fry. Got some Chinese ear fungus. So sometimes I buy them like dried fungus, but it's just very hard to like, you have to soak them in water one hour before cooking. It just takes too much time. So I just got these. crazy. I also got some more jujubes. They're different, like I think different kinds. Those are just jujubes. I, and we got some Korean radishes for their soup. Since like these are just things that I plan for making soup, right? And then I bought this one. It's also wrapped. I honestly forgot. I made the order yesterday, but I forgot what exactly I ordered. Peeled taro root. Like I love taro, but sometimes I'm just too lazy peeling them. So <laughs> that's why I got them peeled. They're so good. You can make taro chips. You can. Like they're just like potatoes, but they have like different nutrients and they are basically starchy root vegetables. And yeah, super, super, super good. Okay, let's try this jujube together. I'm just super, super excited. This is what it looks like. I already washed them. Mmm, those are so crunchy and so sweet. I know it kind of looks, it doesn't look sweet because it's kind of green looking, but it's so sweet, like, oh. This is like a taste of hometown. Mmm, moderation. I need to remember to eat this in moderation. Mmm, so good. Let's try the honey ones. The honey ones looks more ripe. This is what it looks like. Honey GGB, let's take a bite. Mmm, it's basically the same. I think the honey ones are a little bit bigger in size compared to the normal ones. They are a little bit impressed, but yeah, they actually taste really good. I'll take some to my mother-in-law. Here is the sweet potato starch noodles. I've been having cravings for those. Vermicelli, but it's a little bit different because it's made with sweet potato starch. And this one is in the white noodles. I'm gonna soak those white starch noodles with potato starch noodles in cold water for 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna go to yoga. Noodles. We're gonna cut up the reddish. Let's just try it a little bit. It's all white. Mmm. Actually, it tastes pretty good. I'm gonna put this inside of my soup. I can't stop eating them. It actually tastes so good. For the oyster mushroom, we'll just cut the root and you'll be ready to go. Okay, these noodles are kind of soft already. I soaked them into water for 30 minutes and now we're gonna boil them for 15 minutes. I think the mushroom will be ready at the same time. So I'm gonna put in the soup. This is one of my leftovers, but you can also use like beef stock, chicken stock. Chicken stock always tastes really good. Just gonna put in all of the mushrooms. I'm pretty sure this was actually beef noodle soup. Cutting some Costco beef sausage. Those are grass fed. It'll be great if we have real beef. But that's not the story today. I'm gonna add in more hot oil, which is what I like. I got these from my the local restaurant. When I ordered, I was like, can I take some hot oil to go? They were like, yeah. 
and we have some beef broth from Lono Life. This is grass-fed beef bone broth. I used to get them from Costco, but then they sold out, so I got these. They're actually from Amazon. I'll link them down below in the description box. Those are super, super good. They make your soup taste really, really good, and it's grass-fed beef. There's no gluten. There's no sugar. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Like the noodles start to soften a lot and we just need to make sure the mushrooms are cooked right now Ooh, it smells so good and i think it's really the beef stock we don't want to overcook the noodles i think five more minutes five more minutes should be ready i'm gonna close the lid just a little bit so it just like all brewed up should be ready let's take a look Look at this. And I probably, I think it's probably enough for two meals. I probably have enough for tomorrow. Hello y'all, I just came back from teaching yoga. And let me tell y'all, like, the nausea is real. Like, I really feel like I started to have this nausea. It's just, I don't feel good. And I, I don't want to eat because I feel nauseous but I have to eat because eating actually makes me feel better. And also if you guys didn't notice, I actually gained a little bit of weight. You guys probably didn't notice since like I was pretty <laughs> slim in the beginning, but I definitely gained a little bit of weight. Starting last Saturday, I felt like the weight gain just started. Like it's probably also water weight as well, but I do feel like I wanted to eat more for sure. And the cravings is also crazy. And the noodles are so long guys. Probably need chopsticks for this. So good. If you've never tried this type of noodles, you're really missing out. The texture is off. Yay! It's ready! It's actually so good. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna be working a little bit and eat my dinner at the same time. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you tried a wee, please comment down below how do you like them. And this video is not sponsored. I wish they sponsor me. But I'll link my referral link down below. I think like if you use your friend link, you can get like $20 off in, my, in your first order. And then I think I can get some credits in my $20 off in my next order or something. So if you want to support me from eating more food from this online grocery store, definitely use my link. But no pressure, only if you want to try and if it's available in your city. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! I'm gonna go eat my food!